OC stands for Open Systems Interconnection. In simpler words, to be precise, the OC model is used by IT professionals to actually model or trace the actual flow of how data transfers in networks. So, basically, the OC model is a logical model slash representation of how the network systems are supposed to send data, or, communicate, to each other. Now we will see the seven layers of OSI. This is the topmost layer in the seven OSI layers. This is the layer that the end user can be a computer programmer or a regular PC user is actually interacting with. This layer allows access to network resources. This is the layer in which the operating system operates with the data. Main functions of this layers includes translation from one format of data to another, encryption and compression of data. Basically user interacts with application layer, which sends the data down to presentation layer. This layer has the job of maintaining proper communication by establishing, managing and terminating sessions between two computers. For example, whenever we visit any website, our computer has to create a session with the web server of that website. Once you close the website the session with that website terminates. Transport layer has a very important job. It decides how much information should be sent at a time. So, when you are communicating with a website, this layer will decide how much data you can transfer and receive at a given point of time. Also, this layer provides reliable process to process message delivery and error recovery. Network layer is to move packets from source to destination and provide internetworking. This is the layer that the routers operate on. Since routers operate at the network level, hence we can say that the IP address is at the network level. Data link layer is responsible for organizing bits into frames and ensuring hop-to-hop -hop delivery. This is the layer on which the switches operate on. Since routers operate at the network level, hence we can say that the MAC address resides at the data link layer. All the computers in a specific network get plugged into a switch so that they can communicate with each other. Physical layer is the layer on which the real transmission of data bits takes place through a medium. This layer is, as the name suggests, all the physical stuff, wires, connectors, that connects the computers together. Data is transmitted in bits, zero and ones. The TCP IP reference model is a layered model developed by the Defense Project Research Agency of the United States as a part of their research project in 1960. Initially, it was developed to be used by defense only. But later on, it got widely accepted. The main purpose of this model is to connect two remote machines for the exchange of information. These machines can be operating in different networks or have different architecture. Layers in TCP IP are similar to a SIM model. The application layer in the TCP IP model is equivalent to the upper three layers application, physical, and session layer, of the SIM model. It deals with the communication of the whole data message. The application layer provides an interface between the network services and the application programs. It mainly provides services to the end users to work over the network. For example, file transfer, web browsing, etc. This layer uses all the higher level protocols like HTTP, HTTPS, FTP, NFS, DHCP, FMTP, SNMP, SMTP, Telnet, etc. The transport layer is the fourth layer of the TCP IP model. It deals with data in the form of data segments. It mainly performs segmentation of the data received from the upper layers. It is responsible for transporting data and setting up communication between the application layer and the lower layers. This layer facilitates the end-to-end -end communication and error-free delivery of the data. It also facilitates flow control by specifying data rates. The transport layer is used for process-to-process -process communication with the help of the port number of the source and the destination. The Internet layer also performs routing of data packets using the IP addresses. The data packets can be sent from one network to another using the routers in this layer. This layer also performs the sequencing of the data packets at the receiver's end. In other words, it defines the various protocols for logical transmission of data within the same or different network. The protocols that are used in the Internet layer are IP, 
Internet Protocol, ICMP, Internet Control Message Protocol, IGMP, Internet Group Management Protocol, ARP, Address Resolution Protocol, RARP Reverse Address Resolution Protocol, etc. The Data Link Layer is the second layer of the TCP IP layer. It deals with data in the form of data frames. It mainly performs the data framing in which, it adds some header information to the data packets for the successful delivery of data packets to correct destinations. The physical layer is the lowest layer of the TCP IP model. It deals with data in the form of bits. This layer mainly handles the host-to-host -host communication in the network. It defines the transmission medium and mode of communication between two devices. The medium can be wired or wireless.